let's let's jump into tech. Tech is always a hot topic, okay? So we're going to go over to John Eric. Uh, John, what type of tech, if you want to give us your top two, uh, if you got them, what type of tech have you found to be the best to connect with uh, consumers in a farm area? So there is a company out of California called Celebrity Agent. If you're not familiar with it, um, they do an amazing job of micro-targeting. They do a lot of the heavy lifting cool. that um, we used to have to do where you created spreadsheets and you try to, to aggregate information and do all of that. They've got it at a fingertip. They are remarkably good. So if there's one thing I throw out there to you, it's Celebrity Agent is really good at helping you do the things you want to do. So for example, Dan was talking about, you know, buildings that are three to five years old and you know those people begin to sell. This is something celebrity agent already has built in. To Dan's point again, you know, you tend, we have some very big uh, new construction sellers here, Mick Williams, Ballard, things of that nature. They tend to come in and then they tend to leave. So there's tons of opportunities there for you to kind of go in there and, and create something out of nothing. Celebrity agent is really good at kind of doing that. And then the, oh. the the other kind of tech piece that we use um, a lot that I love is, is a product called High Note. And High Note allows me to, as we get a listing call um, through a farm area, you know, you get their, their email, the, you have the, these questions. We begin to send stuff about ourselves over to them. And we're able to see within the components in which we build out what they're spending time reading. Because, mm -hmm. it, you know, Dan knows this as well as is all of you do, which is, you know, Washington is filled with everybody's a chief and nobody's an Indian. And it, there's there's not enough time. And so when you see what they paid a lot of attention to, when you actually sit down with them, then you're able to kind of move through things a lot faster to get to the, the, the meat and potatoes of what they're looking for and, and kind of make that listing appointment much more succinct into what they actually want to hear from you, because they've been able to digest a lot of the information that you've, you've sent over ahead of time. Beautiful. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. Going to move over to Dan Lesniak. Dan with EXP. Dan, what do you um what are your top two tech uh platforms for farming? Yeah, the, the top two for me really are my my email um system, which they're all they're all kind of like a commodity, you know, like, like MailChimp, Constant Contact, um, but a good a good email system to weekly stay in front of the people that you want to do business with um, and and a good a good system for managing social media. We've we've used Hootsuite before and uh, had success with that so that we're always putting content out uh, in front of the, the community and the farm. And then um you know, there's there's a couple that we're going to be experimenting with soon on the writing side of it, actually, which it's almost a little freaky. The, um, but there's there's these programs now. Jasper is one we're going to test soon. On it actually like helps you write blogs. I, you know, I don't I don't know if I necessarily know. If, yeah, I don't know if it'll replace like the copywriter completely, but it'll probably augment what they can do. And I don't know. It's a little scary. <laughs> like we're just going to a complete robotic world, but uh, you know, that, that might just take out authors someday. Who knows? That's pretty amazing. Like, as you're saying that I'm also thinking, I'm like, you know what, there's, there's a lot of people out there that like to write a lot of people that still go to school for journalism. And you're finding that there's fewer, obviously papers and magazines out there. And there's, there's more companies now that are hiring content creators, right? I heard that recently in a book. I don't know if it was yours or someone else's, but I picked that up and you know, putting the pieces together, imagine sending someone out, right, to go to local businesses from you, from your team, interviewing these people, get them on video, get a blog together, blast them out everywhere. Now they're blasting you out in your community and you're picking up their their uh, sphere of influence as well too. Um, so awesome. See, ideas stem off of other ideas. Dan, thank you so much for bringing that up. Quick question for you in your email system, because I know you've been highly successful with these email newsletters. And the industry open rate is probably like, what, 11 12%. Click rate is like maybe 1% or so. Um, what have you found to be your open rate on your email and your click rate? I don't know the click rate off the top of my head, but the our open rates are high. They're like 35 to 40%. Um, okay. 
I don't I don't know why, but that's what they are. I know why, because you're you're giving hyper local content and you're targeting your folks. So I would imagine that you're hitting people maybe in a certain condo development or a certain area with information that's specifically important uh to, to them. You gotta read your book again, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> just I, I think it's it's the consistency too, is like we you know, we don't we don't stop doing it. So people yeah. people get used to seeing it. <laughs> Hundred percent, man. I'm just trying to give you as many book plugs as I can. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah, you're welcome. Awesome, Dan. Great stuff. Thank you. All right, we're gonna move over to Virginia. Virginia Bond, Angle Volkers, Tampa downtown. Virginia. Um, what are the two best pieces of tech that you use? So we do use uh, email marketing. Uh, when I first got the project, there was no follow up systems in place. And so uh, we implemented constant contacts 10 years ago. We scrubbed the list and loaded it. Our open rate used to be in the 20s. We just switched over from constant contact from a 10-year e-blast that had a consistent look and feel to it to Resora because of EV. And our open rate right now is 14.7%. The average on Resora is 13.2. Our click rate is above average. We are at one7 for the click rate. And I think the average is about 1%. So email is really how I sold that whole neighborhood out um, of new lots and builds. That's what one of the key elements I use. And for me, I think it's important to remember not to hit people so many times, only send it out when you have a specific message, something of value that you know that audience wants. You should scrub your database in any uh, e-blast system that you have. It shouldn't be everybody lumped in. We sort our database. Everyone is ranked by A, B, and C. They're ranked by buyers. They're ranked by owners. We have several lists, but I don't send an email out and it includes everyone because nothing gets a bigger eye roll from me than when I get a, an email from a real estate agent giving me tips on how to winterize my home or whatever it is. Right? <laughs> Why are you sending this to me, right? So you, I, yeah. I feel like if you're going to use that tool, you should invest the time to scrub your lists and make sure that they're organized. So when you send out a message, it's going to the person that actually wants to read that. Otherwise, Great. you're just spamming people. Yeah, absolutely. Chris Galvis says, know your audience. Chris, you're absolutely right. Uh, Virginia, what about your second tool? So Resora uh, being your first you know, tool. And I agree. I think email marketing is very, very powerful. What about your second tool for farming? So for farming right now, we're using AdWorks because I have my databases and they're, they're updated constantly. AdWorks Mm -hmm. offers um, 24 hour advertising to that farm. So we have a link that sends them to a, a call to action, which is getting a valuation on their property, since that seems to be what most people are interested in, especially now that the market's a little crazy. But AdWorks is the second tool we use. So we stay in front of them without, you know, call. some people say cold call, like John said, I've never, I'm never going to do that. That's just not me. I'm not going to cold call. I'm not going to be harassing you. I, when I get that from someone, whether it's a lender or a title, it's automatically, I don't want to work with you. That's not nothing of value. You're just calling, you're taking up time during my day. So having a marketing tool like AdWorks, constantly sending out your message to your audience, specifically targeted to them, whether you do a radial dial, so you can drop a pin and do a mile, two miles, three miles, 10 miles into that subdivision, or you have your email list like we have, which is specific, and it's only going to the people that I want to see that message. That's how we, uh, that's our second tool. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Great information, everybody.